what's up everyone, Ragey Golden Eagle here, having way too much fun as always. And now that I got some more gameplay footage for you guys, which believe it or not did take me a while because pretty much all the games I've been playing recently definitely would get me banned from YouTube if I published footage of, and also I'm running short on time again, it's time to take a break from the articles and get back to some more original ranting again. This time around, what's getting on my nerves are the rumors swirling around that YouTube is about to start curating, wait for it, your goddamn subscription feed. No, I'm not joking. I've included a link in the description box below to a tweet by YouTube themselves explaining what it is they are trying to do, and here's what it says. Just to clarify, we are currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed. We find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they want to watch when we order the subs feed in a personalized order, aka curated, versus always showing the most recent video first. Yeah, you heard that correctly. They're thinking of no longer displaying the videos in your subscription feed in chronological order. Do they not understand the purpose of subscriptions and clicking the subscribe button? Apparently they think they know more about what we want to see than we do. Though hell, if nothing else, hopefully at the very least they avoid showing you videos you already watched. As long as all the new uploads end up in that list, I really don't care too much what order they're in. I can live with it. But at this point, I wouldn't put it past YouTube to put a video from like five months ago there. They, after all, have already screwed up subscriptions and notifications to the point that they are basically useless, so I don't trust them here. They seem to think that if I don't watch enough videos from a channel I'm subscribed to, I don't want to see their content anymore. Bitch, if I don't want to see someone's content anymore, I unsubscribe from them. I've done it before and I will probably do it again. I know how this works. And in the cases that I do only watch a small fraction of a channel's videos that I'm subscribed to, it's because they have a variety of content and I'm only interested in a small fraction of what they do. And I sure as hell don't trust YouTube's shitty ass algorithms to figure out which videos those are. And while on this topic, I keep getting comments in my own comment section about how some of you don't get notifications from my channel anymore, even those who watch every video. And that number seems to be growing. So I'm just going to do you guys a favor, I'll put this out right now. I upload three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at least in my time zone in my part of the world, and my videos go up at the exact same time every day, unless of course I make a mistake. One time at least in the past that I remember I published a video at 7am instead of pm. On top of that I generally stream Friday evenings every other week. On rare occasions I put out a completely unplanned video. But either way, you guys know the schedule now, so if you care and you noticed you haven't gotten notified of me uploading a video when I should have, then uh, you just have to check my channel manually, that's probably the only way. Oh yeah, either that or actually follow me on Twitter. Honestly, the only reason I created my Twitter account in the first place is because I had my channel terminated once before, and when that happened, I had absolutely no way to communicate with any of you guys what happened. So I created my Twitter account specifically for the purpose of letting you guys know what's up in case something like that ever happens again. And now, as an added bonus, it can double as a source of notifications. I'm usually at my computer at the time my videos are set to go live. If I notice it's been a few minutes and the Twitter notification hasn't gone out, I do a manual one. Oh, and don't worry, I post like less than five tweets a day on average, usually just one or two not counting the video notifications, so I promise I won't spam your feed. But that aside, back to the main rant. I am getting sick and damn tired of all this curation nowadays. Though it's not like I don't understand why they do it. These companies get butthurt as all fuck that problematic hashtags and videos and whatnot end up trending and thus end up being shown to their entire user base via their top trending feeds. That is their biggest problem. They want to limit the reach of ideas they don't agree with, so they started curating everything. First time I noticed this was on Twitter when they flat out replaced their top trending feed with some curated shit after one too many problematic hashtags got the top spot and they got called out by the lamestream media. I don't know when YouTube started curating their trending feed, but they haven't really been open about it. But I know they've been doing it. Steven Crowder actually did a video a few months back proving that point. 
Around that time, both him and John Oliver of all people released a video on the exact same topic at almost the same time. Crowder's video got over a million views in the same time that Oliver's video got a couple hundred thousand. Guess which one of them was on the trending feed and which one was being suppressed? Yeah, it's not that hard of a guess. But holy shit, how many times do I have to say this? I don't give a shit about your curated Twitter feeds. Show me the uncurated top trending. I don't care about your damn curated popular channels and live streams and soon to be subscription feeds when much more popular videos are intentionally being suppressed anyway. Show me the uncurated, untouched top rankings. Hell, these days you don't even have the option to sort by top trending anymore. On Twitter, for example, the best you can do is modify how the curation is done a little bit. Just try it and see. Unless I'm completely missing something, there's no way for me to just go back to top trending anymore at all. It's not even an option. So a little bit of a hint there, guys. You can create your curated feeds. I'm sure there's like one person on the planet that may actually like that and find them useful. But don't take away the other stuff. If you just give people the option to switch back, no one's really gonna complain. But then again, that would defeat the purpose of the censorship, wouldn't it? And as a final note, back on the topic of YouTube in particular, these days, you guys are much better off just getting a bot that periodically checks the channels you are interested in and notifies you via email or text when a new upload hits. You know, like a fucking subscription feed or the notifications they specifically created to replace it is supposed to do. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thanks for listening.